क्वेश्चन इज गिवन c प्लस सी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू सी टाइम सी टाइम सी वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ c हेयर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ c लेट सी सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन c प्लस सी प्लस सी सी प्लस सी प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू सी टाइम सी टाइम सी ना c प्लस सी प्लस सी सो वी कैन राइट दिस थ्री सी वेन वी आर राइटिंग दिस सी थ्री सी इज इक्वल टू सी टाइम सी टाइम सी सो इट विल बिकम सी क्यूब राइट ना सो वी कैन राइट दिस सी क्यूब इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप सी क्यूब माइनस थ्री सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट नाउ टेकिंग कॉमन सी when we are taking common c then left hand that is c square minus 3 is equal to 0 now we have c times c square minus 3 is equal to 0 so if we are making this 3 in uh, square term so we can write c times this is c square minus this is 3 so we can write this square root of 3 whole square square root of 3 whole square that is 3 Is equal to zero, right? Now you can see this is a square minus b square form. So we know the formula of a square minus b square is a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b is equal to zero, right? A plus b. Sorry, this is b. A plus b times a minus b is equal to zero. Now we can uh, we are using this formula here. Then we will get c this one. Now this is c square minus square root of three whole square. This is a. This is b. So we can write a plus b. So c minus square root of three first term, a plus b. And next term is a minus b. So a is c minus b square root of minus three. A minus b is equal to zero. Right? Now we have three terms. First one is c. Second one is c plus square root of three. And third one is c minus square root of three is equal to zero. So we have uh, we got here three equation. First one is c equal to zero. C equal to zero. First one. Second one is c plus square root uh, c plus square root of three equal to zero. C plus square root of three is equal to zero. And last one is c minus square root of three. C minus square root of three is equal to zero. Now uh, value of c c equal to zero first term. So we can say c one. C one is equal to zero. Now C two. This is C two. So C two is equal to minus square root of three. This is value of C two, and here C three. C three is equal to square root of three. This is the value of C three. Now we got here three value of C. That is C one, C two, and C three. Let's verify is this correct or not. Let's verify. First, if c one is equal to zero, so zero times uh, sorry zero plus zero plus zero, and here equal to zero times zero times zero. We have to verify. So zero 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 equal to zero. So we can say here LHS is equal to RHS. Now next term that is c two. If c two is equal to minus square root of three minus square root of three. So question is c plus c plus c is equal to c times c times c. Now c two is minus square root of three. So minus square root of three plus minus square root of three plus last one is minus square root of three. Question mark because we have to verify this. Minus square root of three minus square root of three minus square root of three. So we can say here minus square root of three times uh, minus square root of three times Minus square root of three is equal to now minus square root of three plus minus square root of three plus minus square root of three so minus minus plus so we can say this is uh, minus three square root of three minus three square root of three question mark here minus square root of three times minus square root of three minus minus plus square root of three square root of three whole square that is three so it will become uh, three this term become three times Minus square root of three, so we can say minus three square root of three 
is equal to minus uh, 3 square root of 3. So here also LHS is equal to RHS. Now last uh, value that is C3. If C3 equal to square root of 3. So we can say if C3 equal to square root of 3. Last value. So we can say C plus C plus C. This is quotient is equal to C times C times C. We have to verify square root of 3. So square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 question mark now here square root of 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3 now square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3 it will become uh, 3 square root of 3 right so it will become 3 square root of 3 3 times square uh, 3 square root of 3 here question mark now square root of 3 square root of 3 so it will become square root of 3 whole square times square root of 3 now 3 square root of 3 uh, question mark this will cancel here 3 and here square root of 3 so we can say 3 square root of 3 is equal to 3 square root of 3 so here also LHS is equal to RHS so we can see value of C1 equal to 0 C2 equal to minus uh, minus square root of 3 and C3 is equal to square root of 3 this is the correct solution thank you